Hi, Jarvis. Darcy, don't flip your bucket. Oh, man. All right, guys. It's uh, cold. It's cold outside. You can see my breath. <laughs> okay, so it's like 26 degrees out. And uh, it's supper time. And I wanted to try. Oh, it looks like you made a mess. You can see, look at the gate. See how it's pushed out in the middle there? Like right here? It's from that guy. Pushing on it. It's all right. <laughs> I didn't even touch her. I was like that far away from her. But it's dinner time. And, oop, sorry. And it's dinner time. Everybody's eating. Jarvis is in his, well, he's in Darcy's stall. But he's eating. And Darcy is in his stall. Excuse me, Noah. Mr. Love his tail. Look at that tail. Love it. And Darcy's in there. And uh, I figured, you know, I got to brush these guys. Where did I put? Oh, yeah. I got to brush them. And, uh, hey, guys. I figured I'd just kind of let you guys hang around for a minute. So let's open the gate. Can I get in here real quick? Noah. Yeah. So this is what Noah's eating. He eats um, beet pulp and he's got some, uh, I think it's, it's either tribute or, I know, he, they gave us some tribute, but I think this is uh, Purina Senior, active senior. And oh, even though he's not a senior, he's only 10. Um, and uh, some oats. And I only put oats in their meal um, in the winter time. As you can see, <laughs> he is a vivacious eater. So let's let you guys in here. Oh, there's my thing. Um, I think I'm trying to find a good spot for you because I know he's going to rub after he eats. So let's try to put you guys here. Yeah, I think that's a good spot. That's a good spot. Don't fall. So while they're eating, I usually have a brush and a comb. And I want to knock off some of that mud. They like to get it, you know, during the day. But um, if they get into some mud, You know what I really like about him is he's so tall and I can easily get right up underneath him. I have to duck a little bit with him and with Darcy, I, I don't even walk underneath him. But him, he'll be easier. So I'm just going to brush him just a little bit. Knock off all this stuff. Just kind of give him a good once over while he's eating. Make sure he's fine. Make sure he doesn't have any weird stuff on him.
So he's finished. He's going to wander around. And, uh, don't itch on that, please. Don't itch on that. You're going to knock over my camera. You can't have that. He wants to go in there. <laughs> he's so big. Look at his butt. <laughs> Darcy's finished with his food. Hi, Mr. D. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Um, let's see. I think I can hook, I'm going to set you up. And you, he's done too, but I'm going to leave him in there too. Unless he lets himself out. Because I don't lock the gates. I just shut them in there when I'm busy doing something with another horse. And then, uh, I don't have to worry about. Can you see him? You can hardly see him. Maybe that's better. All right. He's just finishing his bucket. But he's so small. How are you feeling there, buddy? I wasn't asking about you. Hey, don't you be giving each other the stinky face. Not that way. You do the stinky face outside. Not in the barn. Out. You can't leave yet. Whew. He has lost so much weight, you guys. He, um, I don't know. His percent needs to be adjusted, I think. Um, because he's just lost so much weight. But he still eats a lot. He gets up and plays with the boys, and he just lost so much weight. I mean, he was 1,200 pounds in the summertime, and I—I'll I, guess he's maybe 1,150, maybe if that. Yeah, you're such a skinny mini now. That's not good. So we gotta fix that. And we've been trying to fix that. You gonna let yourself out? Not quite finished. You're gonna regret it. <laughs> See, told you. <laughs> now, what is he eating? Oh, he found some hay. Now I'm gonna go. Oh, I suppose I. We can finish. I mean, oh, look at this. So much dirt. And we brushed half of the stuff out yesterday. But, here, I'm gonna, what do you have on your face? You got a little something on your face. Hey. Hey. Say hi to everybody. Don't turn it off. <laughs> hi. You want to see yourself too? <laughs> Good.
because you know how he likes to see himself. All right, let's see if I can put you guys somewhere where you're not going to get knocked over. Uh, everybody's just kind of chilling out, looking in things, getting into trouble. Hi. Hi, Noah. Do you see yourself in there? Do you see yourself? Everybody says hi. You're the new guy. No, you're not the new guy anymore. No, you've been here for a couple weeks. Yeah, you're not the new guy. But you're the favorite at the moment. Everybody wants to know a lot about you. Yeah, they do. And look, guys. No stinky face. Yeah. He's getting much better with it. He's um asking for scratches now. And he listens really super well. He's just a cool dude. He's just a cool guy. But we gotta brush this guy in here. Darcy's getting into trouble. It's Darcy getting into him. Don't poop in here. I don't wanna scrape it out. So I always let the horses just kinda of wander around in here. Let them do a couple of things. You can't come out yet. You gonna shut yourself in? Okay. <laughs> he actually like shut himself in. All right. Oh, Darcy's pooping. I'll clean that up in a minute. Apparently he wanted to poop in the cat box. <laughs> so I'm just gonna brush him out. He's already done eating. But the reason why I do this is to make sure that um, their fur isn't clumped up over the winter or the night so that they can fluff up. And usually I put blankets on them. And I will probably, I might put a blanket on Darcy tonight. Um, I think it's supposed to be like 26 or something like that tonight. down on the ground their bellies are always a little clumpy with whatever but you guys finally found a spot that's not so bad yeah we did and it was a beautiful day today sorry Done. 
Yeah, your friends are gone, huh? I think they're out there. Make sure you have plenty. Hey, you got all sorts of stuff in your tail. We'll do your tail another day. Because I don't have the right stuff to do your tail. But you do have a something in your tail. Alright, so he's brushed out as much as he's going to be brushed out. And apparently we have lost everybody. Hmm. Where'd they all go? Where'd they go, Jarvis? You going to let yourself out? You let yourself out? Open the door. Open the door. Go ahead. You can let yourself out. Oh, hold on. Let's take that thing off your face. <laughs> I'll open the door for you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but I always leave the gates open. And uh, here comes trouble. <laughs> Mr. Stinky Face. I can't call him Mr. Stinky Face anymore because he doesn't give me the stinky face anymore. I'll put you guys up over here. There. I gotta put that. I gotta get this cleaned up. Hold on. I gotta get rid of Mr. Jarvis. Mr. Darcy's poop. Figured you guys could watch him for a little bit. Everywhere. All right, I'm gonna go get some hay. They do share.
Jarvis likes to eat out of the corner ones, the corner feeders, like him. He likes to do it backwards. So, oh, hey, uh, if you're from sometime, I'm here. Oh, yeah, thank you. Um, so I've been just moseying around. Um, I will, when I'm done with this, I will go back and look at all your comments and uh, write answers when I'm done. But um, let's move you over a little bit. Jarvis is in here. I just put some teff out. He's got a big pile there. There's um about, I don't know, eight flakes in there. Um, the teff flakes fluff up really well. Um, my grower really packed them very well. And I get about 30 flakes in my bales, but now he doesn't grow it anymore, so now I have to find more teff. And the teff that I've been finding is just awful. So I'm really mad that he's not growing anymore. I mean, I, I would gladly pay, I think, $9 a bale instead of 7 to go get it. But, oh well. Um, but there's mixed in there. There's a little bit of fescue mixed in there too. So I like to give him a variety of food. So he's Mr. Big White and Fluffy. <laughs> and then Mr. Uh, the Big Guy. So I think you can see them both if I put you here. A little bit. There you go. There. Well, you can see Jarvis and his butt. Darcy's going out. There was some hay on the other side. Like, this is fescue. This is fescue. And this is teff. So you can see the difference between the two. Fescue is very stick-like. It's very hard, very rough. It looks like it's got twigs. It just looks like grass, you know, long grass. And the teff is very fine, very soft, but it's it's very pliable. And it when they eat it, um, then it's it's easy for them to chew. Uh, flakes during the winter. Well, um, this stuff they hate it, so they don't really eat a lot of it. Um, but the teff. They usually eat about 10 flakes a day, um, and that's on the skinny side when it's kind of warm, and then, of course, they go out and they nibble at what's on the ground. But I always, always have at least 10 flakes per horse somewhere. Um, I actually bought a scale, so now I'm going to um, weigh them and see how much they weigh because they should actually be eating about 22 pounds of hay a day. Um, and that's on top of about 15 to 17 pounds of grain. Um, they don't get anything with molasses in it, but yeah, this te teff is really nice. It's very soft. So like you can see there, you can definitely see the difference between the two there. So this is teff and this is regular fescue. Fescue is like grass and teff is more soft. They prefer the teff. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, he's looking out the window. <laughs> and then of course he's still eating. But um, I, if I fed them exclusively hay and they were in a dry lot, I would probably make sure they'd eat about 15 to 17 flakes a day, depending on how big a flake is. So actually I'm glad you asked that. So come on into the, the hay room, and I'm gonna show you what my flakes look like. So 
So unfortunately, yeah, that's all the hay I have for three horses. That ain't gonna last the winter. So let me see, I'll put you guys. Um, I think I can try to find a spot that I could put you in. That's really, well, you'll have to look at the wall behind me. I was trying to find a nice spot where I could kind of put you where you could see the hay. <laughs> okay, so um, this, this is a, a flake of the, um, the fescue and it's kind of thin and it's very loose. You see how it's not really squished together. Um, when I move it, it starts to fall apart. Um, it's not very heavy. It's very, very light. This one, I'm always afraid to move them around because they just fall apart. But I mean, it's, it's not very, it's not very compact. So that's that. And they do eat it. They eat it more so when it's wet. I guess they like it better when it's wet. And then this one, this is, well, this is actually two. The way I divvy up my flakes in the teff is I just grab the bunch, but I think there's like technically two here. Um, you can see it's a lot stiffer, a lot more um, put together. Yeah, there's two here. But for me, I count this as one, <laughs> but there's technically two. And as you can see, I can hold them up. They're pretty stiff. Not like stiff, stiff as in like dried out stiff, but compacted. Um, and this is a good, good weight. I mean, it doesn't fall apart that much, but I can move it around and I know it's not gonna fall apart. So, um, but usually I count this as one flake for the boys. So technically I guess I get six, you know, every morning and every night. So I guess I get 12. <laughs> Per horse, and I, and I don't know exactly how much each one is eating, really. So, but those are my flakes. Oh, I hear somebody. I wonder what they're getting into. I see you. <laughs> so I always fill up the square, um, the corner feeders which are these things. I always fill those up at night. They're always like half full anyway. Um, but I really stuff them full. And then they make a mess on the ground. And then I put all the flake over there too. And uh, they eat that. Hi, Darcy. <laughs> you guys can hardly see him. He's just like a ghost coming out of the darkness. Hi, how are you? Is it cold out there? Yeah, there's hay in there. I picked up your poop. <laughs> he tries to get out of the way from this guy because, oh, you slipped. What's up? There's nothing left in there. Yep, it's all gone. Hold on. What you gonna do? You gonna say hi to everybody? You can say hi. There, yeah, there you are. Oh, hi everybody on YouTube. He loves to see himself. Let's see. Oh, love this. Oh yeah. I'm not. Um, I've never been a a big Belgian fan. I mean, I've I've always rescued them because there's so many. Um, but that guy, he's really smart. He's got, he's got a goofy personality and he's so young. He's only like 10 or 11. <laughs> so it's, it's really kind of nice having a little bit of animation. Um, these guys just kind of wander around. They just kind of hang out with each other and, uh, relax. And this guy, he mucks everything up. See? <laughs> he made him the mess. 
Well, you made a mess. What are you doing? See, I didn't break this one up, so I just kind of threw it in there. There's like three of them in there. I know. So what happened is he made a mess. I know, that was all you. <gasps> oh, well. Alrighty, you guys. Well, the buckets are empty. The hay is full. I got three very happy horses. One, two, and three. And uh, our family adventures. Oh, hi, guys. Hi. Um, I appreciate you all coming in. But sorry, didn't really get to stick around for just a minute or two. Let me see about the comments. Let's see what we got. We'll come over here to these guys. Let's see, nine months old. Oh yeah, nine month olds are a lot of fun. Um, he uh, he'll come into his own. <laughs> he'll get really excited over little things. They're they're fun. They're fun to play with. Oh, my house built their own metal barn. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we built this metal barn too. Well, we didn't build it. We had the metal part built, but then we put all the wood part inside. But uh, yeah, metal barns are the way to go. I'm telling you, if, if you don't have one already on your property, then uh, yeah, definitely the way to go. There's uh, Mr. D. He's eating. Can you say hi? love that sound. It's just quiet. Everybody's munching. It's so quiet. Nobody's moving around. <laughs> um, the barn. Uh, let's see. Well, it is from that corner to that corner. It is uh, 48 feet wide. And from that end all the way down to that end is 50 feet long. And my Aisleway is from here. So there's 18 feet wide. Those are 10 foot tall doors. I built them myself. I do not recommend building something that big by yourself. Um, and I think, well, let's see, that's what, that was gonna be 10, it was 13. It's gonna be about 20, 22 feet tall, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it is relaxing. I, I love it. I could just sit in here and just listen to them chomp. It'd be all quiet. Oh, hold on. Let's give you a little bit of mood lighting while they eat. Let's see. Let's see, turn on that one. Oh, wait, hold on. Alexa, Shh. turn off the barn. Okay. There's that one. And there's that one, one in the wash bay. And that's the other stall. And then I do have one in my office, it's right there. But we put all these lighting in and I really, really like this. I was thinking about putting some Christmas lights in here too, but uh, I'm not really sure, but yeah. Oh gosh, it gets so loud in here when you have the, the rain coming down on it. I'd like to um, get some insulation sprayed up in here, you know, get this all insulated so it doesn't, it's not so loud. But thank you. I wanted, the whole barn sits like this on my driveway, like straight ahead. I wanted it cockeyed towards the house. So my window for my office and my house is on the second floor and I wanted it turned so much so I could look into that stall if I needed to through the windows in the door, because that's like our medic stall. It was supposed to be right now, it's just a storage stall. I think everybody that owns a barn has at least one stall that they use for storage. And all those of you that do, that watch my channel, I'm sure you do have one. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's really nice in here. It's quiet. My niece was gonna have her wedding in here too, because it's big enough, we could fit about 20, 30 people in here comfortably. I mean, it's pretty long. <laughs> I 
and of course the, the hay. But alrighty, so let's turn this off, and we'll turn off the. See, I have to have all of these. You can't really tell. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> I had my husband put um, stickers because <laughs> I still forget to this day which one is who. So uh, let's turn off the wash bay and a spare stall. We'll turn that off. And uh, I'll let you guys see the boys one more time. And then uh, I got to call it quits. I got to get into the house and I got to make myself some supper. He's eating the stuff on the, on the ground. And then I do keep their um, salt blocks in the barn. Good night, you guys. <laughs> I keep their salt blocks. There's a regular salt block, and then there's the mineral salt block over there. I don't like them outside because um, I was going through a salt block a season, basically, yeah, every half a year. Um, now they, they come in here. It's out of the sun. It doesn't get hot on their tongue as they're licking it. And um, it's out of the rain. It's not making any yuck spots out on the pasture. And um, this is all open anyway. I have two over here and I have two in the other one. And um, it works out really good. So I'm going to call it a night, you guys. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you all for who has popped in. And thank you for all of those thumbs up. I do appreciate it very much. Um, cause the more you guys share my videos and the more you guys, you watch them, the more revenue I can make and I can buy a better video and I can buy them some feed and I can get more subscribers and then, hi, <laughs> and then we can do some more training and maybe we could rescue one more this summer. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to have my hands full with this guy. Yeah. I'm going to have my hand full with him. Yep. See? He's just that big. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later from Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. <laughs> have a good night.